right guys so the first thing we're going to do is if you look at this i already have a scene i have a city which i brought from the content browser and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up where i want my camera to be so i'm going to move to a location that i feel is centered i can move around i think this is a good place so i'm going to set my location here So let's assume this is where I want the camera to be. So I'm going to set this, then just click on the camera button and make sure I'm in the camera. So for us to create this panorama view, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the camera settings. You go to the spherical section of the camera settings. So if you go to the spherical section, you have this spherical camera enabled. You want to make sure that you have your equal direct um, equal rectangular option set as your feed of view helper. And what I need is I want to have a fit frame. I want everything to fit the frame. So you can just click on this, then use my frame, full frame range. So once I have all these things set, so I can move the camera up a bit. Once I'm done with that, the next thing is come to my settings. So I have some things in the scene which I set up. So just to help. So if I'm to render now, it looks so I don't have the view looking like an HDR or panorama view. So but then because I'm going to take this to Facebook or YouTube or any video playing software for me to navigate around myself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a scene so i already have sky set up and my um, environment for um form so if i go to the sky i can go to the sun maybe the sun is too much i can reduce this so you can already see the effect but i want the sun to be let's say 170 and if i'm to render this now it's going to be too bright and i don't get to have that realistic i'm going to have a blue hue which you can already see so for me to have a good interaction of the sun and for me to have a better representation of all these things what i'm going to do is to go to my render settings bring up global illumination make it light mapping and maybe build luminosity. So I'm just doing my final render now. Then I want to bring this to 2.2 and maybe take this to high. Go to radiance, take it high. I'm trying to use a very high settings there so you can have this information. So what I can do is I can also come to this option here change it to change from the field view to the high definition so let's say 10 by this then i can lock the ratio because i want to have a 2k so i can multiply this by 2 so we have maybe something 3k like so the information will be very detailed then i can right click go to ambient occlusion maybe bring this give it a touch of blue As a, then I'll go to physical settings make sure I choose the render physical render then um, bring this to from this advanced setting change it to physical come to basic then move the quality some sampling quality from low to that automatic then I want to bring this to zero since I'm not calculating any subsurface scattering. Then the blurriness, let's make it four. Then maybe bring this to eight. Then I can go to the option, take off um, default lighting, subsurface scattering. I'm not going to work in on that. No transparency or fraction, so I don't want to have a calculation for that. I don't have reflection also in the scene, so I'm taking off the reflection. And I think this is fine. 
I just don't want to have irrelevant things being calculated. So that's why I'm taking off this. That's actually helped me over the years. So I think this is pretty much everything I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this, then come back. I'm going to pause this. These are just some test render that I did. So I'm going to pause this. Then I'll come back and take you to the editing software to increase the time range. Then we can go and check, test it out. So please do hold on for me. All right, you can see the render is up and still take it will take a couple of seconds to finish. And you can already see how long it has taken me. It has taken um, one hour twenty five seconds exactly to get this um, render. Even though I went back to reduce the setting because it was kind of too long, it was getting too long. So, but that's not the reason for this. So let's go to the tutorial. So what we're going to do is save out this image. So I'm going to right click on it, save and go to just save. I'm, I'm having a still image PNG and the highest depth which is um, 16 bits and I'm going to click OK then I'll just say um, city train or city tools alright so I'm going to save this so now once I'm done with this the next thing I'm going to do is head on to my Premiere Pro editing software to do the rest. So I'm going to look for the CT tilt. So I'm going to bring that up here. So basically what you're going to do is I don't know if you have any idea on how to use um, an editing software. I don't okay let me just give you an overview. This is where you have your preview window it shows a preview of any footage you have all the assets you are going to be having are added here this is your timeline this is where you do your editing and adding videos and this is your output section so whatever you have there will be what is going to be rendered out what you have here is going to be your preview window so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this into this icon here as soon as i do that it automatically create a sequence for me with the settings that I have on my normal render so you can see this is the output I'm going to have here so if you move your mouse close to this icon you're going to see sequence move your mouse here you're going to see your clip your video you so this is the video this icon for the video and this is the icon for the sequence so the sequence is what you want to render out so I'm going to click here just give it output so give it a name output Panorama Alright, so this is going to be my output. So what I want to do now the thing about this is that you want to Bring this out to a long time so that you can have time to navigate. So I'm going to Scroll this up Make it let's just say I want to make it 30 seconds or let's even say one minute for instance So one minute three seconds. So I'm going to select the clip and just come to this and drag it out so I get it so at this end I'm going to hit maybe bring it back a little bit until I see the clip hit O on my keyboard O will set an output marker and coming to the starting I'm going to hit I on my keyboard to set an input marker so this is pretty tell, pretty much telling me that I'm going to have an input starting from here and ending here so once i'm done i'm going to select this sequence go to file export and media so now guys this is where the whole thing is this is where you're going to where the whole gist about this thing is so what you're going to do is this is where you set your outputs um format either you want a tif a quick time any of the format that works with your system you can choose that but i've 
found that this works best because it gives the high, it gives a very good quality that I've been uploading for my video. So for me to have that panorama effect that I can navigate, I'll come to this preset, change it from this match to VR monoscopic match source um use like they can pronounce that <laughs> so you change it to this option i've not checked other options but this is what i use so i'm going to change it to this vr means virtual reality so it allows you to move about in the scene so once i'm done i'll just export so it's going to export my video and it should take it shouldn't take more than two minutes and all that so you can see this exporting and once i'm done i'm going to put it into uh i'm going to test it out in a a video playing application or software so we see how it works so just hold on for me while this renders All right, so it's about ending and then it is um, going then. We have 99% of the render time. And I think this is taking time, it's taking long. And it's done. All right, so now once we are done with this, um let's go and check it out so i'm going to navigate to my output section this is it so i have the panorama output so i'm going to right click or i could just double click here it takes me to my vlc and place this is it so i can just click on the view and move and um having my panorama view so you can move up to see so you can see what i'm doing i'm just moving my mouse and the whole thing about this is that you can notice the time that i have i have one minute plus so i have enough time to navigate if i had just two or three seconds it will just take three seconds for me to navigate before it starts all over so i don't really have free time to navigate so i hope that's pretty much it and, and if you have learned something i would like you to please appreciate me by giving a like to this tutorial and also for more tutorials you're going to hit the icons on the on your right you will see some or by the side you will see some exciting tutorials from me and you can still check and follow along and some of them have project files that you can also download and work with so thank you and have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.